Um, welcome to the second week of Kimbro Productions, hashtag sister comedy. Um, this week's a little different uh, due to scheduling conflicts. Me and Haley were not able to get together to um, actually sit down and make our web videos like we usually do. Um, we usually make, you know, two or three a week, um, and then we'll edit them all together. Uh, that didn't happen this week at all. Um, so instead, because I really want to stick to making a video every week, um, we had brainstormed ideas of different segments and stuff to put into our videos. We got a lot of stuff. Um, and so what I thought I would do is, since we don't actually have a funny video for you, um, I threw together two segments that we did get done. All we're going to do this week is Haley's Hollywood and, um, Teasley Haley's Hollywood's going to be... Um, every week, Haley will memorize a monologue and then perform it for you guys. Uh, this week, though, it actually fell on a monologue competition that she went to. Um, her and her friend Haley performed The Hobbit. Uh, she was Gandalf, and the other Haley uh, was Bilbo. They uh, they only handed out first place winners, and they did not get first, but in my book, they got second because they were phenomenal. <laughs> Oh, the Shire. How delicious the morning is in this part of the world. The air is stuffed with comfort. Feels like nothing exciting has happened here for ages. All green and still. Quite like the inside of those eggs you're eating, don't you think? Oh, I wouldn't know. It's hard to look at a place from the outside when you live on the inside. But then again, you're a stranger here. Welcome. I still have your breakfast that you left if you care for some. Thank you. I have the time. I'm not a stranger anywhere unless, of course, I choose to be. Oh yes? Well, how do you do, sir? I never said of course, but at the moment I'm looking for someone to share a great adventure. Stupendous adventure with that I'm arranging, but it's very hard to find anyone. What was that? <laughs> that was just neighbors slamming doors and shutters. <laughs> On adventure. You, sir, in the neighborhood of Hobbits. Hobbit. Hobbit? What is a hobbit? Which is plain folk, really. Have no use for ugh, adventures. Nasty, uncomfortable things. <laughs> They make you late for dinner. Can't see when anybody sees them. Sorry. Good morning. We don't want any adventures here. You might try to cross the hill over the water. You should be ashamed of yourself, Bilbo Baggins. That's my name. How did you know? You know my team. You just don't know that I belong to it. I am Gandalf. And Gandalf means me. And to think that I have lived to be good morning by Belladonna took son as if I was selling buttons at the door. Gandalf? <laughs> Gandalf. Not that wondering wizard who used to tell such wonderful tales at parties about dragons and giants and goblins. The same dear boy. And the rescue of princesses and the luck of widow's son. And the fireworks. I remember those. Old Grandpa Tip used to send them up on Midsummer's Eve. What a display. Naturally. Up they rose like great lilies and snapdragons, hanging in the air, and at last falling like gold and silver rain. Bless me, you couldn't be the same Gandalf who said who led so many of our quiet young lads and lasses on mad adventures. Life used to be quite inter... I mean, you used to upset things quite badly in these parts. I beg my pardon, but I had no idea you were still in business. Where else should I be? Well, for the sake of your old grandfather and for the sake of your poor mother, Belladonna, I shall give you what she'd asked for. But I haven't asked for anything. Why, yes, you have. My pardon, I give it to you. In fact, I'll send you on an adventure. I'm using for me. Good for you, profitable too. That is, if you live through it. If I live through it? Sorry, no adventures. I would ask you in for tea, boy. How nice of you to ask. You know that I don't like to think alone. You go ahead and fix the tea. I'll be in shortly. I have little business to attend to. Tea is uh, tea time, which um, Haley came up with. Um, it's uh, where um, she likes to talk in a British accent. You'll hear it all the time in the video. She absolutely loves it. And if you'll remember from past videos, I'm horrible at it. So she had this really cool idea where um, it's called Tea Time. And uh, she basically teaches me how to pronunciate a word in British language. But it's also a word that we most commonly would not use um, here in uh, America. Um, like this week, the word is knackered, which that was really country. But, uh... Where, like, we would say, oh, I'm very sleepy. In British, you say knackered, apparently. Knackered, I guess. I don't know. So, uh, it's just different things like that. So, it's funny because you're laughing at my expense. And Haley gets to show off her language skills. So, uh, that's tea time. And I hope you enjoy it. 
Hello and welcome to Tea Time. Today we will be teaching Kelsey some new British slang. Hello, Kelsey. Hello. <laughs> it's not. He it's not hello. It's hello. Hello. There you What's go. What's the word of the day? <laughs> Today's word is knackered. Knackered. No. Knackered. And shh. And knackered means that you are tired. You're very tired. If I were to use this in the sentence, I would say, I'm going to bed because I am absolutely knackered. Like that. Say knackered. Knack. No. Okay. When you say knackered, when you say knack... Okay, if you say in an English accent, it's knackered. Okay, well, when you... Knackered, so <laughs> southern. Knackered. So, so southern. Okay. So when you go knacker, when you take when you say cur, you take a breath. So you knack knackered. Knackered. But not that dramatic. <laughs> you got in Brit in British they don't slow down. They talk like this. They're very fast. So you have to say I'm absolutely knackered. Absolutely knackered. There you go. Okay. Yay! Okay. Let's try it one more time. Knackered. No, in a sentence. I'm absolutely knackered. Okay, but if you're gonna say absolutely, you have to take a, a breath again in absolutely. Okay. So you're gonna absolutely say absolutely knackered. No. Listen. I am absolutely knackered. I am absolutely knackered. There you go! 